what it do cosmic crew like comment and subscribe if you're new without further ado i got another video for you so as you can see this is a video on um <laughs> let me make sure i'm saying it kamala kamala i think it's kamala miss harris okay that's interesting i wonder if there's any relation to um ti Although that's a very common last name that just popped up in my head. Right? But let's just see energetically who is Miss Harris. Right? Now, if I'm not mistaken, she is a Libra, Scorpio, Cusper, basically. Which in the in the field of politics and things of that nature when it comes to you know, being unbiased and being very, um, you know, just by the book, okay, is based on facts, able to deliberate and give a, um, a unified, but still, you know, can be divisive when necessary, supposed to be just things of that nature. Who is Miss Harris? Okay. Now, wow. Every card that came out is has pinnacles. Now, a pinnacle <laughs> of course, that has to do with, you know, money, finances, resources, time, things of that energy. But it's also um, a magical tool. It's, it's a sigil, things of that nature. There's a lot of magic and sorcery that's been done. There's a lot of energy manipulation. I feel like there's a lot of people that have been paid off. There's a lot of distribution of funds. There's a lot of... Um, Withholding of information, secret knowledge. I feel like she she's also heavily protected and guarded um, spiritually. There's something here about definitely paying her dues. So I'm not sure what sorority she's in, but she may be like, On a leadership board or some type of sorority, some type of institution here. There, <laughs> whatever she's been doing, she's been in it for the long haul. There's a, there's a um, sincere investment into establishing the position that she's in now. Okay, I feel like she's lost a lot of friends. She's remained very neutral, intentionally. Um, she knows how to rub shoulders. There is this image of appearing diplomatic and as someone who, who's concerned about the well-being of the, the less fortunate. But even that would... Even that would be for her own benefit. Everything is very strategic. It's very, um, it's all manipulated. It's all a stage. There's a disconnect from her emotions here. There's something going on overseas. There's like, there's some offshore banking accounts, hidden funds. Something about pirating, okay? I don't know if she's Catholic. I don't know what her religious be beliefs are, but there's definitely connections with the Pope. With, um, so I'm seeing like little Catholic boys, little, uh, yeah. So, th oh God, there, there seems to be some. Involvement in what would be considered human trafficking. 
organ trafficking, especially as it pertains to um, third world countries. There's an establishment here of her wealth that's built on sorcery. So this may be um, a bloodline thing as well. She's actually very easy to read. Like, <laughs> if you have the eyes to see, it's like, yeah, shit's obvious. Like, if you can, if you can see past people's cloak and their mask, and you can just see their their soul. Yeah, she's all. She's very um financially. pushed anything that anything that's going to advance her career and advance her resources and her wealth there's a, a, a serious connection here with the underworld There's something about the Black Madonna. There's definitely a, a Catholic undertone here. There's also like a, a, a resurgence. There's a resurrection here. So she is someone that's been reincarnated. Or there's, there's a energy of someone that's transitioned that's been placed into her vessel there's also this energy of trying to prevent some type of karma I feel like um, the powers that be the um, the elite the the five percenters, the boule, things of that nature. There's definitely technology here involving extraterrestrials where they um, swap timelines, jump timelines, and jump in and out of vessels. There's a masculine energy that's on her. very cold blooded cold hearted just calculated very um they're like not very nurturing at all not very kind there's there's a disconnect from the feminine energy okay very malevolent it's giving like maleficent But I also feel like there's something, um, they're, they're definitely channeling like Greek mythology. <clears throat> okay. There's something here about there's different regions in the, in the, the powers, the deities. See these people, they be digging in those tombs, okay? There's some there's some type of ring or like scepter that can be used to I'm seeing like waves, like how would I call it? Like if you you watch a TV show, you got a cartoon and like somebody shoots a gun. And you see all those little, like, little circles, the little waves coming out of it. It's like sound waves. There's something here about shifting paradigms using ancient technology given from ex extraterrestrials. And, like, there's definitely something about Nefertiti energy.
But it's like they're trying to control the underworld. Like control, basically control karma. It's like they won't die. They won't. <laughs> they just keep resurfacing. Who she is is not who like that. Mm-mm. There's some body snatching going on here. Okay. She has been like programmed, reprogrammed. Like there's a different um, attitude that she's been given. There's a lot of root work here. This is heavily rooted though. Her running partner might be, so she has to provide some type of balance. So it might be um, a Caucasian male so that she can um, It's just, it's just, the thing that are just coming in my head, it's a lot. It's a lot. There's a lot about monks. There's something here about sheiks, Sikhs, however you say it. There's something, like, I, I feel like she's either knowledgeable or has been in, inducted, maybe through past lives. Like, she's been in different belief systems, religious belief systems, institutions. Like, she has a lot of knowledge that she uses to capitalize. Is she bald? Is she wearing a wig? There's something about her scalp. Like she's been scalped. There's some type of um branding. Like I feel like if you were to look on her scalp, like there's some type of branding or like something on the back of her neck. She's been marked by the beast, apparently. She definitely likes the, um, the popularity. Okay. There is a masculine energy that is utilizing her vessel. She has a very sharp tongue, a very quick mind, actually very impulsive. And there's also like a very risque kind of um, raunchy side to her. Very raunchy. I see her in fishnets. Be a, a secret lover. They're trying to block out the sun or control, control, of course, control the weather, but control the seasons. Like, con- something about National Geographic. They're trying to. It's like they're trying to land on the sun. It's definitely something about. <laughs> oh God. It's something about the man in the moon. Okay. And like I always tell you, the, the moon is a base for NASA, it's a surveillance system they use to control the current. That's why there's so many moons. They're like 
asteroids that they land on. She can shapeshift. I'm seeing like animorphs. If you know what that is, when they were like turning into different animals. There's something here about the zoo. What's going on at the zoo? Something about Madagascar, the shipping. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> like she has her hands in so many things. It's too much. It's too much. All this is like a family business. Like she was born and bred for this. For this. But she's like a boy. It's like a child being taken from a third world country and like given a persona, but it's a boy child. There's a lot of secrets. There's like a secret marriage. Yeah, yeah, there's a secret marriage, a secret child. I keep seeing little <sighs> bald headed little boys in like this Pope like figure okay indoctrination she is very um Powerful. She's a very um, powerful manifester. JP, aren't you making beats again? Since a child, and she's very gifted, very intelligent, very um, very resourceful. Nah, man, there's something here about a secret identity. There's a lot, there's a lot about um, witness protection. There's a lot about kidnapping, abductions. Gender swapping. There's like a blind oath. There's some type of school of knowledge, Mesopotamia, there's some type of um, high level occult school of knowledge that they have to go through. There's like a, um, some type of temple, like where these mad scientists are. Yeah, it's like, okay, so she's taking, she's taking this oath of, um, like, Lady Justice. She's not going to choose a side. She can't. Also, it's like, um, there's someone else looking through her eyes. Or her, she's being, her vessel is being used to look through. Whoa. There's something about self, self mutilation. She talks out both sides of her neck. It's a lot of um, omitting of the truth. There's a lot, everything she says is like a, a parable. There's a loss of innocence here. And she's actually very fond of Trump. Of course, we, as we know, they're all friends. Okay, they're all in the same secret societies. They sit at the same tables. She's very fond of Trump. There is necromancy going on here. These people are like resurfacing, re regurgitating. 
There's some something about mummification, cremation, alchemizing the spirit, spirit cooking. Sex magic. A lot of this happens overseas. There's something about a heavenly host. I don't know what this got to do with Lauren Hill. shit it's, it's okay it's the, the sister act there's definitely something about witness protection these um my mosque molosseums just like I said in my Oprah reading when she got those cool like these children are are very powerful they're being used to manifest and to create portals and dimensions and to feed these entities about um acupuncture okay so there's definitely um I'm seeing Indian Asian like she is she's very well versed on different cultures she has a lot of knowledge she has a lot of things that she can apply and pull from okay but there's something here about um sacrifice there there are certain points on the body that align with different ley lines definitely organ harvesting here something about what's that lady in Chicago she got something to do with this There's like a voodoo. She's like a voodoo doll. Kamala. Kamala. She's a voodoo doll. She's a living voodoo doll. And she's being controlled. And like they, they touch certain energy points. But it's like it's a it's a masculine energy that she that she anything else? Uh uh-uh. uh. For some reason, I feel like there there would be reason to believe there are a lot of lovers. I feel like these people are, a lot of them are in bed with each other. Both, um, meta, me, damn, metaphysically, metaphorically, and literally, okay? There's a lot of things that are done in the dark. It's something about. Oh God. There's a secret lover here. I don't know who. I don't know much about her. I don't know who her man's supposed to be, but there's definitely another one. But I feel like. Anything else? Who is this woman? A man. I'm not just saying this shit. This woman is a man. Even if, if uh, even if it's just a lot of masculine energy, but I'm feeling like this is a little boy that was groomed to be this this 
version of who sh- they're presenting themselves to be. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Her whole family is, is a part of this shit. Obama's energy is very strong. I'm not gonna let that slide. Obama's energy is very strong in this shit. Let's just, we're just gonna end it. What are her intentions for the um, citizens of America? And we're just gonna end it there. <laughs> what are what are her intentions for the, the the citizens of the United States Corporation of America? This has a lot to do with athletes. There's a reason these people get paid so much money. There's there's so much shit that go on. I told y'all. And it's crazy because a lot of people keep asking me to do readings on basketball players and shit. Like, there's, there's so much shout. What's her intentions? Okay. She wants to be a star. There's some type of um um group think that's supposed to be distributed over the masses okay it's supposed to okay so she's been put in place to raise the vibration in a certain direction heighten emotions There's something about heightening the emotions. Apparently, this controls um, the gamma waves. The vibration that's put out in the air from the... Oh! <laughs> it's too much! It's too much! Okay, so basically, she she's... Try to make people feel a certain type of way so that they can control the weather, control the control time. That's why every election season it be the same shit. Like I told y'all, it's a time loop. A lot of people are gonna be leaving this country. This is human trafficking. She is a distraction from the human trafficking. Something about, um, get out, us, that Jordan Peele shit. Okay. All that is very real. It's very prevalent. Okay. There's something about um, raising the stress level. They're intentionally trying to make things very difficult. Why? Why do they want people to struggle so bad? Like, what is that? like this is your government cause child y'all government is like very abusive (laughs) and they do all this shit purposely so that they can come across as the savior it's intentional you know the inflation the um you know, just the hardships, things of that nature is very intentional so that they can implement these plans to change things that they put in place. 
And then they, they play both sides, like, oh, the Republicans, Demi- like, but as we all know, they're working, it's, they're just mind-fucking the, the, the people. We the people. They're getting mind-fucked. <laughs> By these heartless, soulless, um, Neanderthals? What the fuck? Neanderthals, I guess. Somebody has a tail. Somebody was born with a tail. There's a lot about controlling the mind of the youth, the next generation. It's like they're they're purposely trying to put people in a state of depression and melancholy and worry and anxiety and um, poor coping mechanisms because this is what this is what okay you know this is um, what um, it's associated with big pharma okay it's all about these pills these prescriptions this is what runs the country All the outbreaks, all the diagnosis is all done to make people dependent on the system that is destroying them. But we know this, right? Obama was the catalyst for a lot of this shit. Whatever change he made, it was in the favor of the elite. sport to them they want everybody fighting they want everybody um arguing they want they want the violence okay that funds the judicial system they want it they need it what did i say the corporation of america i'm i'm yeah she's just playing her part <laughs> Literally, her part, her role, okay? All right, so we're going to leave that right there. Until next time.